Welcome to the Odds.com UFC 249 breakdown coming to you live this Saturday night, Jacksonville, Florida. This Saturday night, sports are coming back. And we have the best MMA handicappers in the game joining us right now. We got the legend, Pistol Pete Loshak. We got Big Mo from Mo Scream TV, Boston Nick in the house, as well as our guy Clint from the Die Hard MMA podcast. Right now, we're breaking down the welterweight bout, 5'11 American, the silent assassin, Vicente Luque at <clears throat> minus 275. That was the opening line at 365, still there. Up against six foot American, the hybrid, Nico Price at plus 225. Clint, my man, do you have an angle on this one? Jimmy, I know it's been a while since we've done this, buddy. But if there's one thing my people know about me when I'm handicapping fights, it's that I always make a case for the dog. I am on Nico Price here, and I absolutely love it. If you're getting over plus 200 on this guy, he is always the side to take. He is violence incarnate this guy pushes a pace he can finish anybody from anywhere and he is an absolute warrior who will fight for your money every single time he either puts his opponent out on a stretcher or he goes out on his shield he's facing vicente luque and even though luque is a talent he is on the decline this guy is not as good as he was a couple years ago he's got defensive holes and he's taken a ton of damage in his last three fights nico price is on the upswing this is a rematch they fought before back in 2017 and Vicente Luque was a short notice replacement and Nico just did not look like himself in that fight. So this time around, he's had time to prep. He's had time to prepare. He's going to be ready to come in and face Luque at 100%. And I do not like Luque's chances. His defensive numbers are not that good. And Nico can finish you quite literally from anywhere. We're talking about a guy who knocked his opponent out off of his back. I am all over Nico Price here. Even if he doesn't get the job done like when he fought Jeff Neal, he was always the value side in that fight. He had Jeff Neal hurt very, very, very badly before he got caught and dropped. Give me violence. Give me Nico Price. Ooh, big dog alert from our man Clint Pistol Pete. What do you think of the big dog alert? Well, yeah, I mean, Luque is obviously supremely talented, but, you know, Price has the uh, the proverbial puncher's chance here, and the question is always, what are the chances and what are the odds in any given situation? And I, I agree with uh, with what Clint said about, you know, in general, anytime you can get Price at over 200, it's probably a good bet. And that is how I feel about this myself, and I did take a shot with it. I, I'm not crazy about it, though, just because Luque, uh, you know, has never been knocked out as a pro. And uh, and he looks like he has just a really tough chin. So I'm you know I'm factoring in now a really tough chin on the uh, on the part of Luke and 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 comparing that to the uh, to the knockout potential of of Price. And it's all just estimations and educated guesses here. And I would think that Price anything over plus two hundred has some value. But uh, you know, it's, let me tell you what has value. A bunch of educated guesses. Well, this is what has value. Luke inside the distance at minus one thirty. Listen, Price is getting knocked out or submitted, okay, within two and a half rounds, guaranteed. Okay, that's my. This is one of my main bets of uh, this card. My top guarantee. My top three. Yes, I'm putting a 99.9. So I guess I can't guarantee that, Clint. But Nico Price, come on now. Look what happened last time, and, and, that, and Luke is a better fighter than he was last time. Price is. He is. Price is yeah, he has got to be. You know what I mean? He's got to be. Has, has Price taken? How much damage has he taken since that fight? A lot. A lot. So, He's been knocked out by two of the hardest power punchers in the division. Jeff Neal yeah. and Abdul Razak Al-Hassan are the only guys that have taken him out. However, worse. Luke on the other side got his ass kicked by Mike Perry for three rounds and pulled off a split decision and then got his ass beat by Stephen Wonderboy Thompson for a full 15 minutes. You I'll take the CTE Mike, over a, a quick knockout than 15 Mike straight minutes of damage. You think Mike Perry beats uh, uh, Nico Price? You really think Nico Price beats Mike, Mike Perry in that fight? All day. I'll oh, take Nico wow. Price over Mike Perry any day. Oof, another, another what one. about Oops. splitting the distance and just saying, all right, the fight won't go the distance. Either Luke gets a knockout, either Price gets the finish, uh, and uh, you know, not going the distance is minus 325. Is that too high of a price? For me, yeah. Uh, way too high. Way too high. Most Cream TV, what do you think of this? Uh, I think this is a tale of <clears throat> fighting styles. I think there are certain type of fighting styles in martial arts. I think there are type of fighters like Nico Price that comes, he's going to walk forward. He's going to throw hooks. He, he's not a big, I, he throws straights, but he's a big whipping type puncher. And then there's, 
there's fighters like uh, Mr. Luque. He has a high guard, and he throws a lot of straight punches down the middle. Now, straight punches always beat wild hooks every single time. And let's say that this gets in the clinch. Oh, Mr. Vicente has a mean, mean tie clinch that he's going to throw them knees up the middle. Uh, I just think, oh, also, and those leg kicks. I think leg kicks are going to come huge into play. I think Vicente going to walk down high guard, big leg kicks. I just don't see uh, – I agree with Clinton a sense of uh, violence incarnate is uh, Nico Price, and he's going to walk forward, and he's going to fight for your dog money. And can he win? He can win. He can win off his back with hammer fist to your face, knocking you out. He can uh, throw something big and wild. Uh, Mr. Luque has taken a lot of damage. Against Perry, he took 232 total shots, uh, and 174 of them were, were significant. So uh, that is a lot of damage against Wonder Boy. He took 138 total shots. So he is taking a lot of shots. At some point, he is going to make that decline. I just think with him already beating Nico, um, I could see him finishing Nico, like Nick said, uh, either a knockout or submission. I don't see him really going in for a takedown, getting him on the ground. If I see that happening, it's kind of like the way I was talking about with uh, Alvy, that uh, uh, oh, uh, Luke is going to rock him, Nico, because Nico does shoot for some takedowns. Uh, he's going to get rocked, shoot for a takedown. And when you shoot in for a single, that puts your head in perfect position for what Luke is very, very good at, which is a guillotine. So either Luke by knockout or submission. Wow. So we have Luke by knockout or submission from both Boston Nick and Mo Scream. And then Clint and Pete are on the other side. Pete, any final thoughts on this welterweight bout? No, not really. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's all just about uh, educated guesses and uh, small, you know, estimations of small, you know, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, when, when the numbers are off. Uh, you know, the percentages are just a little bit off from what they should be uh, as far as uh, the likelihood of, of, of Price being able to score, a, you know, a fluky, a fluky knockout. I think his kicks are, you know, he, he's just a score, sort of an unpredictable fighter. So whenever you have an unpredictable fighter, you know, with knockout power and getting a big dog line, that's always something that I'm uh, looking hard at. There you have it. Welterweight bout. Luke Price. Follow discrepancies up. that was the word i was looking for discrepancies <laughs> oh, there you go I just knew before we shut her down pete gets it in there we go there we go check us out check us out odds.com also follow us on twitter odds 110 and subscribe to our youtube page right here odds hq for the best in ufc right i got kids to feed i got enemies i got guys give so they envy me Got some friends out in Memphis like I'm Aubrey Got some friends fought for orange like some autumn leaves